All right, what is up everybody? 3D Theory here. We're gonna be doing a different kind of unboxing today. This is something special, something I've been really wanting to get for a long time, and I've been needing an upgrade. So what I got in this box here is the Alienware Aurora R15. And we're gonna go over all the specs and everything as soon as I unbox this. I have not even touched it yet, so let's get this thing unboxed. All right, so this here powerful computer cost about $4,300 out the door. That's with taxes. I think the price was around $39.89 on Dell. So this I bought straight from Dell and I think they built it up in Texas and they shipped it on over. So this is the first time I'm opening it. So far so cool. It's got this uh, cool little design on the box as you can see. It actually has the Alienware logo. Let me bring the camera over. So as you can see, it says Alienware there. It's a really cool little box design. I haven't opened it all yet, but this is what we're seeing so far. You got the uh, cool Alien logo in there and uh, what looks to be a hexagon. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing further unboxed and see what else it came with. I know I didn't order the keyboard and the mouse that it came with because I got plenty. So let's keep going here. So I do want to say that most of the computers I've had in the past have been Dell's. My current build, is a Dell and I've been very happy with Dell but let's keep going with the unboxing here so there's this massive box in there let's see what's inside inside they give you a pretty beefy lengthy power cable they also seem to give you some other sort of cable I'm not quite sure what it's for just yet but it has this square device on it not sure what that is yet but we'll find out and they give you an alienware card here alienware aurora r15 instructions on how to set it up so it does tell you where to put that square device here it tells you what everything is on the machine which is really nice and your warranty and safety information here. And that's all we got in the box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and read this card for you guys so you know what it says. It says in 1996, we set out to build the most innovative and high performance computers for ourselves and our fellow gamers. Since then, Alienware's products have won hundreds of awards around the world and are regarded as the absolute best personal computers ever made. Our team has spent countless hours talking to customers, technology partners, and game developers to design, engineer, and reliably manufacture this amazing amazing piece of technology you're about to welcome into your life. Your appreciation of premium performance and innovative design is exactly what distinguishes an Alienware user from everyone else. You now belong to a select and proud community in the relentless pursuit of the finest technology the world has to offer. Your passion for excellence is what drives and inspires us to continue delivering on our promise every day. Thank you for joining us. Wow, that makes you feel really special. That's really cool. Really liked how they presented it. It makes it feel very premium. And you know, I thought to myself, I'm just gonna add an updated graphics card and a, maybe some RAM to my machine, but I'm running an i7 with a GTX 1080 Nvidia. And I figured if I wanna update to some of the best graphics cards right now, which is the RTX 4090, I'd have to probably change out my, my processor, including my motherboard, add some things in there that honestly, I personally don't have the skills for. So I went ahead and I looked at the individual parts on Newegg and just the 4090, Nvidia RTX 4090 graphics card alone was around $2,300 because they're out of stock and you got to buy them secondhand. So you know, I figured if I'm going to pay $2,300 for a graphics card, I might as well just pay another two grand and get a brand new computer with all the specs that I'm about to read out to you. <laughs> and this thing looks so freaking cool so far. All right, that's about it in the box. I'm actually going to move the box and set the computer down. All right, so we got the computer out and take a look at this beauty. There's a really nice heavy duty, what seems to be like a plastic on it. And it's not your cheap plastic. It's a very thick, very nice plastic. Now on the front, we have what seems to be some sort of marking, some sort of writing. I'm not quite sure what it says, but it has what seems to be like a, an OOD, DOC. Not sure what all that means, but let's turn this around. By the way, it has a really sleek, cool design coming in the back over here. They just make it look so cool. This part lifts up off the ground. You got what's touching the table and then it starts lifting up right here. And I'm actually going to turn it this way. And here's the front of the computer. Now, it's just an elongated circle with another elongated circle. You got the Alien logo. It reminds you that you got an Intel i9 in there. And then as you turn it around to this side, you get to see all the beautiful parts in there. And again, I'm gonna try to bring it in, but it's so reflective, it's kind of hard to see. I'm actually gonna open it up so we can all take a look at it. But in there, we got the GeForce RTX 4090, which is out of stock right now, and it's completely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and read off some of the things that are in there. 
right. We got a Lunar Light 1350 WPSU Alienware Cryotech Edition. CPU liquid cooling and clear side panel. And that's what this is. And that's cool that it's got liquid cooling. We got a 13th generation Intel R Core i9 13900KF 24 core 68 megabyte total cache 3 gigahertz to 5.8 gigahertz P core with Intel processor. We got 64 gigabytes of RAM. We got two terabytes solid state drive. And again, we got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes. We got a Intel Killer Wi Fi 6E that came with it. Bluetooth 5.2. It comes with the Windows 11. And that's the information I got for you. And I'm going to continue turning this thing around now. Now, as you can see here on the back, we got this beautiful honeycomb design up top. If you can see it in the camera, that is really nice. And we got all the standard ports. We got the actual power cable. We got our HDMI ports here, the spot where this thing connects. We got our USB, USB C's, microphone, headphones, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna get this thing opened up so we can take a look inside. It's got one little area in the back right here where I just gotta unscrew. Once that is unscrewed, you just pull this forward and then you can open up your Aurora R15. Okay, that simply came off like that. And let's take a closer look at this thing. What a beautiful machine this is. All right, so I'm gonna set this down. All right, let's take a look at this. So we got right here immediately, Alienware. You got your cool little logo there. We got some fans. And this I imagine is the liquid cooling cables. We got the massive GeForce RTX 4090 going from right here all the way over. And pretty much you can guess the rest. You got the RAM over there and it just looks really, really well made. All right, guys, let's get this thing powered on. All right, guys, I wanted to mention what we have here in the front as well. I think I forgot to mention that. We got our headphone cable area input. We got three USBs and one USB-C. Super clean, super cool. There doesn't seem to be any sort of disk drive or anything like that. It's just really clean and sleek design. So I'm gonna get this thing plugged in and turned on. All right, and to get ready for that, I'm gonna turn this thing around. I'm gonna install what I think is the Wi-Fi that came with it. So we're just gonna to plug these in here simply like that then what I got here is a display port to HDTV cable it's 10 feet long so I'm just gonna crack that open so I can plug it into the monitor that we've got here so I'm just gonna stick it into the RTX 4090 there you go then I'm gonna grab that power cable and plug it in here this ain't your standard power cable this thing is a beefy power cable I have never seen this before and we're simply just gonna plug it in down here I'm gonna clear this area a little bit. All right, and I got a standard mouse and keyboard here. The keyboard actually came with my old PC, my Dell. And I love these standard Logitech mouses. Just these standard <laughs> run of the mill. I just love them. They're so simple. No fancy schmancy anything. It just allows you to do what you need to do. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna plug these in. There's some USB ports that you could just plug them simply into there. Okay, those are ready to go. And I'm actually gonna leave this kind of sideways so you can see it light up. But also, I need space to put the monitor. It's actually a pretty thick monitor. All right, here's an old and heavy Dell monitor I'm gonna be using to test this thing out on. Hopefully you can see the screen there. I got a little power cable for that. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna stick in that HDMI cable into the back of this monitor. I'm super excited for this, guys. We're about to turn this thing on. It's gonna be exciting. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna put the power in for the computer and we're just gonna turn it on. <laughs> All right, it already lit up a little bit when I gave it some power. And to turn this baby on, you just need to click that alien face there. So I'm gonna click it and turn it as quick as I can. I feel the fans going. All right, I'm gonna try that again. The alien face is lighting up all sorts of different colors. We got the GeForce RTX 4090 lighting up as well. Take that out. And we got that lighting up over there. I can feel the fans going. It's really nice because it's kind of warm in here. I'm gonna press it again. All right, it seems to not be on. I'm not quite sure what's going on. We're not getting anything for the monitor. If this thing is on, it's really quiet. It's amazing. All right, well, it turns out I was using the wrong cable. So I went ahead and I grabbed the right cable. And when you turn it on, as you can see here, it just says, is this the right country? or region and so I'm gonna click the United States because I'm in the United States same thing it's asking for is this the right keyboard layout or input method I'm just gonna click yes want to add a second keyboard layout I'm just gonna skip that all right now it's asking to connect to Wi-Fi I'm just gonna type in my password here all right now that we're connected I'm just gonna go on to the next screen it's just checking for some updates all right it checked for the updates and everything was good now it's just saying please review the license agreement so I'm gonna go ahead and review that now I'm gonna click accept and now it's asking to name the device and with that it's just about a startup it says just a moment as 
matter of fact, it looked like it restarted. All right, we got the Alienware logo right there. That's really cool. And again, it's just saying just a moment. So it's preparing the desktop for us. And I gotta tell you, this thing is super quiet. You could hardly even hear the fan. And in all honesty, the air coming out of this computer feels cool. It's almost like a air conditioner. It's pumping out cool air. All right, it wants to connect to Wi-Fi again. So we just pressed connect. It's actually taking quite some time for the internet to connect this time around. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel here. I'm gonna connect to my internet again and see if that works. All right, now we connected. Let's move on to the next screen. All right, it says unlock your Microsoft experience, sign into your Microsoft account. All right, now it's asking to create a pin. All right, I went in and I created that pin. Now it's asking to choose privacy settings. All right, I chose mine, moved on to the next one. All right, it just confirmed my name as well as my preferences. And now it's asking to customize my experience. And I think I am going to choose skip for this one, but it allowed you to change it for gaming, for entertainment, for creativity and whatnot. Then it gives you a QR code so you can connect your phone to your computer, which I'm gonna skip. And it's mentioning that it's gonna give us a free trial of Microsoft 365, which I'm gonna skip, as well as a hundred gigabyte more cloud storage which again I'm gonna decline and it's mentioning that my device comes with a free Xbox game pass ultimate which is really cool it gives you hundreds of games and exclusive discounts includes EA play and I can browse the catalog which I'm gonna skip for now all right looks like it's starting up just as a Microsoft would it just says hi getting things ready for you I said this might take a few minutes don't turn off your PC all right, we're almost there. And there you have it. It started up. Here's the home screen. We got that really cool alien head in there. And the rest just looks to be your run of the mill Microsoft. I can't wait to dig through this machine, play some games on it. But really guys, what I bought it for was to do some really cool 3D models, maybe some 3D environments. But here at 3D Theory, we focus on 3D printing as our main content. But when I created this channel, I also wanted to include some modeling and some of the stuff that I like to do creatively on the computer. So if that's something you guys would like to see, please comment down below and just say yes. That would be super cool. It would let me know that you guys want to see that sort of thing as well. So guys, this was the unboxing and the setup of the Alienware Aurora R15. And it's a really sweet machine. I thought more things were going to light up. Maybe there's a feature for that, but I don't know where it's at right now. And you know what? I'm kind of happy it's not going to light up too, too much because I figured it might be kind of distracting, but they do look really cool. I'm not going to deny it. It looks really sweet. So if there's an option to turn it on, that's really cool that you can turn it on and you can turn it off. I would turn it on sometimes actually, but most of the time I'd probably leave it off. So again, guys, this was the unboxing of the Alienware Aurora R15 and I hope you guys liked it. It's a pretty expensive machine, but in the market right now, I think this was a great deal. I got it on sale. And if you're looking for a machine like this, stay tuned. I'm going to continue using it. I'm going to install some softwares on there. I'm going to do some work on it and I'll update you in the coming months on how this machine is going. All right, guys. Well, please like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell for some really cool upcoming videos. I got another unboxing coming up for a 3D printer. So stay tuned for that. And remember that Starkiller helmet is on its way. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and joy.